All right, so welcome. Today we're going to find out about megabyte and megabit. And yes, there is a difference. So yesterday an internet company stopped by my house and they were trying to sell me their new gigabit internet. So what is gigabit internet? What is a megabyte? And what is a megabit is what we're going to find out. So there's a difference between megabyte and megabit. And I'm assuming that most people watching this video had no idea there was a difference. So why do internet companies use gigabit? Well, it's simple. It can make them sound like their internet is much faster than it actually is to the common person. So what is a megabit? A megabit is either a one or a zero. All right, so that's how computers get information. And a megabyte is eight megabits. So you'll have one or a zero and you'll have eight of them and that makes a megabyte. So when you get gigabit internet, you have not about 940 megabits per second is about what that speed is at. However, when you convert that down in megabytes, it's only about 112 megabytes. So most people in this world have hard drives, right? They're a terabyte or a megabyte or a gigabyte, right? Nobody uses gigabits. So um, you have to be conscious of what you're getting when you get stuff from the internet. Now, I'm not saying that gigabit internet is slow. It's, it's really fast. It's probably much faster than what you're getting. But I think it's a misconception that you're getting 940 megabytes when you're actually only getting 940 gig megabits all right which is 112 megabytes per second so it's fast but it's not a byte is not a bit so hopefully i've cleared up this misconception if you have any comments or questions you can leave those below and don't forget to subscribe